What's up everybody, Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Jam at Full Grip Games. Today I'm going to be showing off my Archie's Blastoise deck, a very cool archetype in expanded format that uses the Archie's Ace in the Hole engine to spring a Stage 2 Blastoise into play as early as the first turn of the game and then utilize that powerful Deluge ability to throw as many water energy as you have access to in your hand into play instantly. A very explosive deck that showcases is all of the most broken item and trainer cards that Expanded has to offer. A very cool deck that also takes advantage of Mewtwo and Mew, Tag Team GX, and the Perfection ability. One of the best decks to be able to utilize Mewtwo and Mew since it relies on Battle Compressor to throw tons of things into the discard pile. And then a deck like Archie's Blastoise really likes to play out of the discard pile. Mewtwo and Mew takes advantage of that perfectly because Perfection copies the attacks of Pokemon EX and GX from the discard pile. So we've got Espeon and Deoxys GX, Palkia GX, and Naganadel GX all as primary attackers for the Mewtwo and Mew to copy. Oh, and let's not forget about Kingdra GX, the heaviest hitter in the deck. Now, one of the reasons to run Archie's Blastoise with Mewtwo and Mew is because of the nearly infinite damage output that you can put forth with your Mewtwo and Mew. And on paper, if everything goes correct, Archie's Blastoise is pretty much an unbeatable deck. It uh, is almost invincible because of its ability to get a turn one cross division GX. So if you're playing against any deck that wants to set up Pokemon on the bench, that is something that could just get overrun by a turn one Blastoise, accelerating water energy onto Mewtwo and Mew, manually attaching the one Psychic in the deck to your Mewtwo and Mew and then copying Cross Division GX from the discard pile. And you could easily take out three Zeruas, three Pidgeys, anything like that. Take three prizes on the first turn of the game on three low HP Pokemon. So a deck like this can prey on low HP Pokemon, even Garbodor decks, which should theoretically shut down Mewtwo and Mew with its Garbotoxin ability. Trubbishes only have 60 to 70 hit points, so Cross Division GX is a strategy to be able to take Garbodors out of the equation before they ever get evolved up. And then to perfectly complement Espeon and Deoxys with the Cross Division GX for low HP Pokemon, we have Kingdra GX, with the Hydro Pump attack to take out high HP threats on the opponent's side of the field. Hydro Pump does 10 plus 50 more damage times the amount of water energy attached to this Pokemon. So with just five energy attached Mewtwo and Mew, it's gonna be doling out 260 damage, six energy, and you are doing 310, enough to one hit KO, just about anything that expanded format has to offer. And getting that many energy onto your Mewtwo and Mew is very easy because we have superior energy retrieval, which can get up to four basic energy from the discard pile into your hand. And you do have to discard two cards from your hand in order to use that, which is why we play the Propagate Execute. There are tons of cards in this deck that require you to discard cards from your hand. Propagate Execute can come out of the discard pile every turn, as many times a turn as you would like. As many times as you can get the Execute into the discard pile, you can bring it back to your hand. So Propagate is an incredible ability to complement this deck and allows you to utilize a lot of these discard cards like Computer Search, Mysterious Treasure, Superior Energy Retrieval, or and Ultra Ball, even Viridian Forest for free. Now, one of the coolest new cards that Archie's Blastoise has at its disposal is the Chaotic Swell. Chaotic Swell is a great card for blocking power plants and silent labs from coming into play. So I do really like one copy of Chaotic Swell in the list. Viridian Forest is also excellent. So I still wanted to keep Viridian Forest in the deck because it helps you obtain that turn one Archies by giving you an option to discard a card from your hand and just overall contributing towards that turn one Archies effect. Still a copy of Field Blower in the deck as well. And I decided to include Tate and Liza. I tried out Mallow and Lana as a switch option in the place of Tate and Liza, but sometimes you just start a really unplayable opening hand with multiple copies of Superior Energy Retrieval. And it's nice to be able to battle Compressor away Tate and Liza and just shuffle draw five to see a new hand. One loss this deck did take is the loss of Let Loose Marshadow. Let Loose Marshadow was a very popular option for this deck and a very powerful disruption card. 
but the deck still gets along very well without it. And I do like the one of Palkia GX in the deck. Zero Vanish GX is a very good GX attack and can really be disruptive against decks like Turbo Dark, Pika Rum, and the like that want to hoard energy into play. Zero Vanish GX can just be a nice little option that your opponent isn't always expecting. And Hydro Pressure is just a nice vanilla backup attack should you prize your Kingdra GX, which I really do like having two options to deal base vanilla damage with your Mewtwo and Mew. Of course, you can always energy drive if push comes to shove, but I do like the inclusion of the Palkia GX just to help our deck get around things like Psychic Charm or anything like that, anything weird that you should encounter. The Palkia GX, if you have a power plant stuck in play, you can always throw energy onto Palkia GX and just do some vanilla damage. So I do like that as a backup attacking option. This deck, like I said, theoretically unbeatable, but in practice, things do tend to go wrong sometimes. But when this deck pops off, it is one of the most exciting, entertaining decks to play in any format the Pokemon trading card game has to offer. So check out the gameplay if you haven't already. Make sure to check out my stream where I stream Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday, twitch.tv slash tricky gym. Also, make sure to pick up your card singles from fullgripgames.com. PTCGO codes are available on fullgripcodes.com for instant email delivery. Enjoy the gameplay. Very good. Helps you get your Tapu Coco out early. Because you don't always want to have to Ultra Ball for everything. Like, that's for sure. I, if I could fit a second Nest Ball in there, I would. Yo, Drag for Life. That's what's up. Happy to see you. No, we shouldn't have a player cap, Drag for Life. So... I mean, I'm sure that we'll be able to fit however many we get. I mean, our player cap is probably 100, if I had to guess. I don't think we'll reach that. Because we've never, we've never gotten 100 for a League Cup before. But I think Full Grip Games can easily seat 100 players. Eh, not easily. When pushed, we could sit 100 players. I think we can comfortably sit probably 75. So, but we could make room for 100 if we have to. All right, we are playing against the Mega Guardi deck. If we get it turn one, we should be pretty good here. I mean, granted, we don't play any, any way to turn off my weakness, and they, oh, they already have started the Jirachi, so... That's just like a known quantity. We're both playing without any weaknesses right now. So that's interesting. So I don't actually want to knock out the Jirachi turn one. At all. Which is weird. Because I can one-hit KO them, but they can't one-hit KO me. But they can get like a turn two GG end. All right, this is looking like a turn one Archie, so let's go, chat. Blastoise, we get an Archie's into the discard pile. And the other egg. I can Ultra Ball away Guzma and Naganado. Now, could just go for the Palkia GX. Hydro Pressure Knockout. That'd be pretty cool. Because that way I'm not, like, putting a Mewtwo up. Yep. Stealthy Hood. Order Pad. I'll just do another Order Pad. 
Order up. Skirt. Definitely take another battle compressor and just play it. Looks like this is my last battle compressor. There are no more in the deck. Hyoix, prized a couple. Yo, yeah, Time Bro wants a Mew. Did I miss a drawing from earlier? I did, didn't I? And I missed some packs. Oh, you guys got to be on me about this. I'm sorry. I missed the Golem. All right, Colonel Rooster. I'm going to write down a list of all these things I got to do. All right, Colonel Rooster needs a Golem. We need Golem. I forgot, guys. I forgot. I was so into Picaram. And we need a Mew. And I need to open Evolutions. All right, I'm on it, chat. To-do list after this game. Golem, Mew, Pack of Evolutions. I'm on it. To-do list. Now, I need to send some water energies to the discard pile, I think. So we're going to do that. Go here. Burst Seeker for Archies. Sick. Sorry about that, guys. My bad. I get carried away sometimes. Okay, so how many energy do we need? Five? And I could take the one-hit knockout? That's cool. So we're looking at... I have three in the discard pile now. If I retreat this, then that's four. We can pop the egg. And superior, the order pad, and the, honestly, yeah. For all four. And then I can just comp search for the fifth. It's kind of lit. So we're just going to do that, prop. And then computer search for another water. Now yeah, they can't, like, win or anything crazy, no. Okay, cool. All right, so we're going to Hydro Pressure. Knock out there, take my two prizes. Ripping another Battle Compressor in the Superior there is really good because we want to get more things into the discard pile for sure. All right, I'm going to start that Golem. Yo, Golem, I actually know... A decent amount what Golem looks like. All right. He's got that face, and then he's just like, and y'all know what Golem's body looks like, that's for sure. See the golem mouth? I'm not exactly sure. All right. Golem. There he is. Look at that beautiful creature. All right, Colonel Rooster, if you're still there, here's your golem. I appreciate you. Thank you for the patience. 
I think it's pretty precise. If I do say so myself. Beautiful. Then we got a Mew coming up. All right, have they done anything yet? This is like, this is expanded format for you. I mean, that's for sure. Uh, lots of time for drawings. <laughs> it looks like a Mareep, oh no. All right, Mew is like very cute. All right, my turn. What? What did you not attack? What did you do? Oh, did you? How did my blast? You GG on my Blastoise. You GG on my Blastoise. You GG on my Blastoise. Are you serious? Right. You're about to get zero vanished. Battle compressor. He bounced it to my hand. Well, whatever he did, he used his GX attack to put it to my hand. I have no idea. What did they do? Dark Mist GX. Okay. Either way. I mean, like, it's, it's gotta go, bro. Like, that's, that's what's happening. Dark Mist GX. I have never seen that before. This guy, put one of your opponent's bench Pokemon all cards attached to it in your opponent's hand. Poggers, yikes. That'll do it. Pretty sure I could still win this game. They have not actually taken a prize yet. And they have to deal with this Palkia GX. Theoretically, they can despair ray if they have a sky field, but the, no, they can't. Yeah, yeah, they can't. They can't despair ray for enough damage. They can only do 170. So, I, on the other hand, I can Mallow and Lana, maybe. If we order pad, I just don't think I can Archies. Oh, maybe now I'll be able to. So you're saying there's a chance. The swell is also insane against them. Oh my gosh. The swell. The swelly swell. All right, we're still working on that Mew. Let's see. The Mew body. It's kind of got these kangaroo-looking feet. Okay, I'm not super sad about this. Let's see. What are they? Sky Return? Man. Coward? Busted. All right, we in there, fellas. Not to mention, I'm about to put the swell down. I think the Mewtwo is the correct grab, even if they could theoretically knock it out, I guess. Let me get to Archie's again. Is that 
Blastoise back. All right, slit. They still have all six prizes to take. I like all these cards in my hand. We've got Venom Shot. You know, as a possibility too. We're just gonna take this knockout. And then if they put a Mewtwo into play, they have to worry about it getting knocked out for sure. All right. <laughs> oh, this, oh, this guy is too funny. Um... Uh, all right, you know, you asked for it, so. We got Mew coming in hot. Oh, isn't he just gorgeous? Look at that. Mew drawing. That Mew. Uh, and Time Bro. Yes, if you order direct website and put in the order details that you want your Mew drawing from stream, that's fine. It has to be direct website, though, not TCG player. There is your Mew. Time bro. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeet. It's the best I got. We got a uh, pack of evolutions on the way. That Mew wasn't so bad. I mean, it's kind of lumpy, but yeah, from my experience, kind of like what a uh, kind of what it looks like. I'm glad you digged it, time bro. All right, so they what end me? They're gonna knock out my Palkia. They got DCEs in this list. So what are they gonna use here? They've got no protection against weakness. They're just going to sky return again. So they're trying to take five prizes at once. I've used my GX attack. I mean, at this point, I could Guzma something and knock it out. I kind of want to Guzma the... Uh, this Giratina and knock it out. So let's let's do it. And then, you know, I've got a good hand. The reason we're knocking out this one is because it's the one with the float stone. So if they're doing any shenanigans, we're going to make it a little bit harder for them. You know, to do what they need to do. And then 
you know, if they leave a Mewtwo active, all I need to do is just attack with my Mewtwo for game. I don't know how many float stones they have access to. I mean, two float stones are in the discard pile now, so I'm like, you know, it's pretty good. I think Natalie is working on the pull right now. She is uh, working in the shop, but uh, what can I help you guys with? Sini says I'm trying to outdo the uh, weasel float, so. All right, Trocia says uh, you have a bunch of GXs and rares from the buy list that add up to a Sword and Shield booster box, so you want to trade? Yeah. I mean, so were you able to figure out how to use the Full Grip Games buy list? Uh, I have a nice video at the top of the buy list page, if anybody is looking to do the the Full Grip Games buy list, uh, Full Grip is now buying, you know, standard legal cards on the website, just like we would in an event or something like that. Okay. See what we got. Guzma's in the discard pile. We're just going for our last verse seeker to win the game. It's fine at the very least. All right, 50 50 shots. Hey, let's go. Broken deck. Even with my Blastoise being returned to my hand, Palkia GX got us all the way there. Insane. That is one of the coolest things about Archies, is that it plays its deck down to like zero cards. I mean, so like, even when you do get end at the end of the game, you're probably going to be able to draw out of it but yes let me uh let me shout this out real quick guys all right you, you you with me hang on i'm gonna shout this out okay so if you were looking to sell cards to fullgripgames.com and i'll give this uh oh no i'm out of focus there's the golem there's the mew and we're going to open a pack of evolutions as was asked beautiful yes oh they belong in the moma don't they But yes, if you are uh, if you're looking to sell cards to Full Grip Games, just like you would at a regional or anything else, we do have a fully functional buy list on our website. So if you want to head on over to FullGripGames.com, I'll show you the buy list. And we've got, just real quick, just real quick, guys, all right? It's not going to take long. But uh, this could be an excellent resource for you guys to trade for store credits or for cash um, without actually having to go to a regional championship to do so. Uh, of course, we're taking our bulk for booster boxes. There's that banner that I made. You can go into the top left corner here where it says buy list and you click on buy list. And here's a video of me explaining how the buy list works. Okay, if you wanted to watch that, uh, it's very informative. And then... If you want to see the cards that we are buying, you can go to Browse, Pokemon Singles. Say you want to see which cards we're buying from Cosmic Eclipse. Here are all the cards that we're buying from Cosmic Eclipse and the prices that we are paying on them. Say if you have the Alternative Arts, you know, Arceus, Dalga, and Palkia. If you have a near mint version of that, we will buy it for $18. Um, or if you want store credit, we'll pay $21.60 store credit on it. Okay. And then... Oh, this is, oh, I'm sorry. I am definitely, definitely sorry for this. Got our Mewtwo in the active. This is not a good hand. It's cool. That's why we played to Denny. What does the eye look like? It's like, 
I guess that's dragon-esque looking. I think it's probably like, you know, Garchomp Jr. that has the little tubes on his head. I can't remember if Garchomp Sr. has them. You know, but it might be Garchomp Jr. I'm thinking of. Either way, you know, we're shipping it at this point. There ain't no taking it back, so, you know. Oh, and then Garchomp's body? I have no idea what Garchomp's body looks like. All right, see ya, hand. Goodbye. All right, this is looking doable. Hmm. So we got Battle Compressor. Good Battle Compressor. Good, our Blastoise. We want to probably Lele for the Archies. And we can get another couple of water energy. We actually have it. Okay. It's good. Get another couple of water energies down. Maybe superior for them. To be honest, just get those down. And then I think I want to order pad. Yeah, see if we can order pad. Can't. Now I could treasure for something. I like that. The treasure in the deck is really cool. So we get to treasure for like, we could just go for game chat. We could go for game. Boy, it'd be exciting. And then Ultra Ball. For Lele. And go get the Archie. There we go. We got the turn one. We just need to find some energy to be able to attack. All five? Not bad, actually. Let's go, chat. All right, we're totally in there. We could win. I need a superior. Oh, we could definitely win. Y'all ready for this? Dun 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 dun. Yo! Let's go! All right. So. What do I have more of? Superiors or Battle Compressors in the deck? Two Battle Compressors, two Superiors. I think we go Battle Compressor. And then I can get this other egg into the discard pile. And then we're going to draw cards. And we're going to try and find the Superior. That or I could get Comp Search. And we could set up with Comp Search in hand. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, that's really good. So then we're going to go Battle Compressor, and we're going to get this into the discard pile, the Psychic into the discard pile, and the Water into the discard pile. And then, and then, yes, we're going to go there. And we're going to go, we prop one egg, Ultra Ball, for a Shaman. This is why Archie's broken. Broken deck. And then we get to prop both eggs. And we get to superior all of our energy. Have not attached for turn yet. And go four energy onto the active. And then we just need two water energy to win the game. What's up, blue eyes? Going good.
All right, set up for five. Easy dub, chat. Easy, 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 easy money. Easy money. That's it. Yo, we can just... Whew. I'm just going to computer search for the last energy. You feel me, chat? Why not? One, two, three, four, five. Skirt! Six. Man, if you look at hands like this, look at turn ones like this, make you think that this is the BDIF. Free dubs. Now, does Garchomp actually have those little tubes on its head, or is that uh, is that Gibble? I'm not exactly sure. Valero, I'm glad you agree. I also think it's identical. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you for that. Let's get back to the game, guys. Yeah, it did have some very Ampharos-esque markings on it. I mean, it, let's see, I'm gonna look at Garchomp real quick. It's got some like tubes on it. It does have the tubes. Okay. Now what I didn't realize is that Garchomp has got like the big fins under its arms. He's got a tail too. He doesn't have stripes on his tail. But I was correct about the tubes. I was correct. Blue-eyed kitten, let's see if you could see that. Yes, did have tubes on its head. So for that, I'm thankful. We didn't miss that up too bad. Now the rest of it does leave some, you know, somewhat to be desired. Picaram with Steven's Resolve. That is not something I thought I would be seeing in expanded format, but we'll see how it goes for him. We're looking like we've got a literally insane opening hand here, so that's that's legit. We'll take it. I mean, literally nothing could go wrong. I say that now until I prize both my Blastoise. All right, so we Ultra Ball. Blastoises are in deck. One Archie is in deck. Lele is in deck. So we're going to go get Lele probably. Yes. And do this. We can do computer search for a battle compressor. We could just computer search these away. That's fine. Since I'm going for, yo, no. Since we're going for like the turn one attack with Kingdra. We don't need to attach Psychic from hand. So we're just gonna go here, Battle Compressor, Blastoise, Kingdra, and a Water Energy. Active, Lele, Archibald. There we go. We've got it. This thing is for sure a goner. There is no chance of survival. They're toast. That's it. Nice knowing you. Sorry. 
pitch the other egg, pitch the nag, pitch another water, and then we can go shaman. And we prop. Broken deck, guys. This deck is so filth. My goodness. Why play any other deck? Yeah, scratch that. If I'm going to Dallas, we're playing Archies. Let's go. I mean, okay. So, like, this is the thing, and this is the problem, is that Archies always just looks so broken. My goodness. It really does. I mean, I guess at this point, like what, you know, we might as well put the hood onto the Me Too. I don't, you know, I don't know what they got going on there. So. Set up for six. That's what I'm saying. This deck has so insanely busted. Kingdra. That'll do it. That's 260 damage. Might as well put another one of these down. Can't hurt. Hydro pump. Goodbye. Incomplete asks, is Propagate Eggs the most degenerate card of all time? Certainly busted in expanded formats. That's for sure. I mean, the ability to make all these cards that discard cards, of which there are plenty in the Pokemon trading card game, not have any effect, you know, is just absolutely nutty. And we got the Swell. <sighs> Slay. I don't like the way that Jolteon's looking at me. So we're going to take care of it. I already got the nag. We could just I could just venom shot it, bro. Sure. You know, I'll save my verse seekers. Skadoosh. That's lit. Now you're going to scoop it up. All right. Yeah, you know, I mean, when it's hot, it's hot, chat. 